All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the food portion of our 72-hour kit. Uh, what you have, bef what you see before you, is 24,000 calories of food items. Um, the reason why we've got 24,000 calories is that's based off of a calculation that uh, we've done. Uh, that's 2,000 calories per day for my wife and I, and 1,000 calories per child per day. Now that might seem like a little bit excessive to to you guys out there, um, and it might be. Um, you know, for a 72-hour kit, but the one thing that we decided that we wanted to have was more capability beyond 72 hours. So if we really had to, we could probably take these food items and stretch them out for another additional two to three days, um, if we had to. Um, and so I'd rather have, you know, in, just in case the emergency or whatever has caused us to use the 72-hour kit, uh, whatever has caused us to use that, um, I don't if that if that situation persists I want to be able to have capabilities uh, beyond just 72 hours so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and talk about each one of these different kinds of food items and talk about a little bit of pros and cons and why we why we chose um, these for um, for their place in our 72 hour kit uh, but before we before we discuss um, all the individuals let's talk about some of the general principles you want to go by um, for choosing your food uh, one of the things that you're going to want to have is you're going to have something that's got durable packaging, okay, and good shelf life. Now, like the 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 most durable packaging here probably is the uh, Mountain House Meals and the the MREs. They're really durable, thick mylar um, mylar packaging, and they are going to last for a long, long time. Now, some of the flim more flimsy we have the ramen noodles here, and we have this Knox uh, or this Nors uh, uh, side dish here. Uh, those are like uh, those are items that you're going to want to trade out um, annually uh, to make sure that they stay fresh and they stay good. So um, you're going to want to have good packaging, good shelf life. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to you want to have is is relatively lightweight items. You're not going to want to have a lot of stuff that's going to be heavy um, because if you're going to be in a 72-hour situation, most likely you're going to be uh, you're going to have to stay portable. Um, and you know heavy cans and things like that can can definitely weigh you down and so that's one thing that I like to have is lightweight stuff the other thing you're gonna wanna have is you're gonna have stuff that's really calorie dense okay it's calorie dense foods because calories are really where it's won and lost with the 72 hour kit you're gonna wanna have enough calories to um, maintain your energy levels throughout the emergency situation and that is that is probably one of the most important things the other thing is, is if you're in a an emergency type scenario where you are actually living out of your 72 hour kit, you are going to be um, spun up or stressed out, and it's going to be probably a very unpleasant experience. And so one of the things you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have comfort food. You're going to want to have stuff that is going to taste good, that's going to help you wind down a little bit, and um, and give you a little added stress relief. And so some of the things that we talk about here is going to be uh, related specifically to that. So let's go ahead and talk about each of the individual things. Let's start off with the Mountain House Meals. Mountain House Meals, um, in my opinion, are some of the best options for your 72-hour kits. For one, they are they are in very durable packaging. They're going to last a long time because they're freeze-dried. In fact, this should last well over a decade in storage. And so it's going to be a really good option uh, for shelf life and storage life and durability. The other thing I like about Mountain House Meals, and I've used them extensively in camping and and hunting and things like that, and they really taste pretty good. Like they're 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 definitely a, a good a good meal, and they'll be they'll be hot at the end of the day. Um, the other good benefit is they're they're relatively high in calories. This is you're looking at about um, seven to eight hundred calories just in this package alone, and so that's a real um, hearty meal for an adult, um, or you know a couple meals for kids, and so really really good. The one downside to the Mountain House meal is they tend to be a little bit bulkier. Now, if you carry it, you're going to want to like have it folded over and give you as much space as possible. But they are a tiny bit more bulky than some of the other uh, food options out there. Uh, Mountain House does offer their Mountain House Pro meals, which are they vacuum seal their packaging, so it's a little bit more compact. The downside to that is, um, I feel, well, the, the downside to that is you get a little bit less food per package, and they tend to be a bit more expensive. And so I chose to just go with the regular um, Mountain House meal. Uh, let's see, what else about the Mountain House meal? Oh, the other thing that's really nice about them is that because they're super, super lightweight, 
they they take up very little weight and so it's just what you just need to add the water weight and they're they're really nice because you can just put in your boiling water wait about eight or nine minutes eight to ten minutes and essentially you have a hot meal ready to go and <clears throat> the other nice thing about the packaging here on the mountain house meal is you don't need any containers so you don't need to have like a plate or a bowl or anything like that to eat out of you just open that pouch Add your water, wait eight, wait ten minutes, and you can scoop it right out of there. So there's no containers, no no food uh, food containers necessary to eat this, and that makes them really really super convenient. So there's our mountain house meal portion. Now we have a bunch more of these um, that we can add or subtract. Uh, these are some of our favorite meals: the spaghetti, beef stew, beef stroganoff is probably my favorite that Mountain House puts out. It's a, it's excellent. I love it. Um, all right, so let's go on to the MREs now. The MREs are the Mills Ready to Eat. Okay, that's what MRE stands for. And these are the, your military style mills. And what's nice about the MRE is they are completely ready to eat. You don't have to warm them up. You don't have to add water. You don't have to add anything. It's just you open the, the Mylar pouch. And let me show you what's inside. I've got one taken out already. Um, you open this little Mylar pouch, zip it up, and you can eat right out of it. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to warm it up. Although it is nice to have a... a a hot meal and when we move into the the cooking portion of the 72 hour kit we'll talk a little bit about different ways of cooking the MREs but for the most part it's all a self-contained package you know they have between a hundred and uh, three hundred calories roughly like this chicken noodle stew with vegetables has two hundred calories per the pouch so you know it's a pretty good meal um, not the not the heaviest but you're gonna definitely want to add a couple a little bit to it but these are the most convenient of all of the meals here they're pre they're ready to eat they're a, they're relatively lightweight they're really good solid packaging and so they're gonna last a long time emery's are not gonna last as long as like your freeze-dried foods just because they're they're moist and there's a lot of chemistry still going on inside those pouches and so if you keep them cool you know they'll last you five five to seven years or even a little bit longer and uh, so you don't have to really um, work on them annually. The, one of the biggest downsides to the MRE, okay, is the fact that they cost a little bit, a little bit more than your average meal. So per calorie, they're going to cost a bit more. They're also a little harder to find. Now there's places online you can get them, like BePrepared.com or, or Emergency Essentials. There's a few other places. There's quite a few other places. But you're going to pay for shipping. They're going to be a little bit more expensive overall. Uh, but for the most part, the convenience on the convenience side. Here's one with mixed fruit. This is a this is what you consider a appetizer or an accessory. This is 100 calories, but it's mixed fruit, so you're going to get some enzymes, some veg some vitamins, and things like that from from stuff like that. And that's that's really good to have. Um, but yeah, it's um, they are they are fantastic. They're fantastic meals. They're probably the most convenient. So definitely something to consider if you can get your hands on some MRE stuff. Now let's go ahead and talk about the the emergency ration or this is like what you would consider a C ration. These are approved by the Coast Guard. This is the Daytrix or Datrix, however you want to say it. And one thing I like about these is you're packing 3600 calories into this one block of stuff. And these taste essentially like um like a dry um uh coconut uh cookie. All right, so they don't taste too bad, but they're very, very dry. When you eat them, you're going to want to have a lot of water with them because they will dry your mouth out like crazy. Uh, but they are, they're really good, and they're just calorie dense. All right, 3,600 calories for this block. And this is going to be a good addition to, like, uh, passing out an MRE to each one of the kids and then passing out a couple of these cookies uh, to them as well. That's going to give them enough calories to continue to, to move, and that is going to be really, really important. So these Daytrix or these uh, C rations um, are going to be definitely something you're going to want to try to get. Now, I got this for like $7 uh, a brick, and there's 3,600 calories. We have two of these at, in, um, added into our 72-hour kit. So it's definitely something that are going to be are going to be awesome. Now, one thing that's one downside to the Daytrix and some of these other ones um, is that they are vacuum sealed, but they, the aluminum mylar or the metallized mylar that they come in can be damaged easily, and so you can lose your vacuum. So one thing that I recommend is wrapping this entire thing in duct tape or um, putting it into a, um, a cardboard box or something like that to um, add to some of the durability because they um, they will they will lose their vacuum if they're bumped or banged or something like that so you're gonna wanna be careful they're not quite as durable as some of the other the packaging that we see here but the the C rations are definitely something you that you wanna consider um, when when uh, doing your 72 hour kit 
Now let's go ahead and talk about something you can buy at Walmart, okay? These are the, the, the Nor uh, rice sides. In here is about a thousand calories of food, like 900 calories of food. It's, it's really, really a ton of calories. And one of the nice things about these is you, in seven minutes you can add boiling water into a pot and you'll have quite a bit of calories, something that tastes good, something that's kind of like a normal food, all right? And, and you, can, you can add a ton of these. These are really, really cheap. You can get them for less than two bucks. They're really cheap at Walmart. Something that you definitely want to consider and throw into your 72-hour kit, big time. Uh, the one downside to something like this is that annually you're going to have to rotate these out. So this has an ex this one actually has an expiration date in June. So I'm going to have to redo. I'm going to have to put use this up and put another one in or another two in um, in June. So they do not last uh, forever, and that's partially due to the the thin mylar that they use to to uh, to make these. These are not uh, meant for long term storage, but definitely a really really good item. Okay, to be adding to your your kit and. You can have like a you know like a, a traditional you know like a, a MRE entree and then add this as a side and that would be just a fantastic comfort food something that's definitely going to be usable. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the the uh, ramen noodle. Okay, everyone that's ever gone to college or lived away from home <laughs> knows about top ramen. Okay, but you're looking at let's see 400 calories per top ramen. All right, now. We, the reason why we put four of these in is because in one night we can probably just throw a bunch of these in the pot and everybody can eat out of the same pot. All right, so it's definitely going to be something that you're going to be able to use. 400 calories, super lightweight, and top ramen will withstand a nuclear blast. Okay, so that's something that you, that you can easily add as a supplement. Doesn't take up a lot of space for 400 calories. Uh, you can that is your cheapest uh, cheapest caloric content in this whole entire uh, kit is your um, top ramen that is we're looking at 1600 calories in that in that bag alone that's awesome okay all right moving on now one thing that we've added uh, to the kit is some of these MRE uh, oatmeal cookies all right so that's you're looking at uh, let's see uh, 280 calories per cookie all right we also have some brownies and that is 370 calories per per package here and the reason why you're going to want to have desserts and stuff that tastes good, okay, is exactly what we talked about earlier, is that it, in a stressful situation, especially with children, you're going to want to be able to give them something that is a treat, something that's a snack, something that takes their mind off of the stress. All right, which leads us into this next, this next package. Now in here we have, let's just go ahead and zip it open here and we'll show you some of the contents. We have some candy bars, all right. Same, uh, lots of lot, uh, 280 calories, dense food that tastes good. Okay, that's normal, normal food. We have some gum. That's going to be real important to have something to distract you. Uh, gum is a good way to do that. It also helps with oral hygiene. All right, so if you get some gum, especially if it has xylitol in it, which this one does, xylitol is a, a short chain sugar that is. Um, good for antibacterial so a, a good gum can help with some oral hygiene um, and as well as it's, uh, it tastes good and it's distracting. We have these uh, instant oatmeals. All right, anyone that does any backpacking knows the value of an instant oatmeal package. Okay, uh, I'm not sure exactly the calorie content on this. We figured them up when we put them in but uh, these are going to be quick uh, breakfasts that you can throw some you know hot water in and have uh, some oatmeal. Here's, here's a great, great item for your kit. If you can get a hold of about a dozen of these, you're going to be rocking and rolling. This is the Chunky Peanut Butter um, MRE um, accessory pack. In this, there is 250 calories. All right, so this is essentially like a protein energy bar, um, just kind of um, added in there. So you can, you can um, have, you know, 200 and what, what, what was it? 250 calories and a little squirt of peanut butter. Peanut butter is awesome. And you can get these in the last forever chunky peanut butter packs. We also added in a bunch of uh, powdered uh, drink mixes. All right, and what one nice thing about the powdered drink mix, and we had some um, hot apple cider, is that you're going to want to have stuff to flavor your water, especially if you're going to be drinking out of, you know, uh, stuff, or you're going to be using iodine or something like that to purify your water. You're going to want to have better tasting water. So if putting in a little bit of drink mix will definitely make your, your water taste better, and it's good to take your mind off stuff. We also added in some uh, protein bars. These are the Nature Valley uh, protein bars. I like these because they're cheap. 
They're 10, they're 10 grams of protein and essentially pretty good amount of calories. I think they're 190 calories a piece on these. So these taste good. They're going to add a little bit of energy to it, to your kit, and they're, they're going to be a nice snack for the kids. Uh, the other thing that we haven't added that we're going to is we're going to add um, uh, hard candies. So we're probably going to put some like um, some um, hard lifesaver mints or lifesavers or Jolly Ranchers or something like that in there that's going to that's going to last for a long time but it's gonna be something that we can give the children uh, uh, as a snack as a treat something to like I said to continue to take their mind off of the stressful situation that uh, they're undergoing and that and I don't think you guys can I don't think we can stress that enough that if you have children it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be a hard oops sorry it's gonna be a hard um, thing to go through an emergency. If there's an earthquake, if there's a tornado, if there's whatever, um, if uh, it's WROL, whatever, um, you're going to need something to help to help uh, keep your children comfortable and fed and in high spirits. Because that, if they, if they lose their morale, then it's going to be 10 times harder for you to maintain um, a survival situation. So, alright guys, so that kind of concludes our 72-hour um, uh, food kit. Uh, like I said, the only thing we haven't added is hard candies, so like Jolly Ranchers, and I'm going to go to the store today and buy some of that just to make sure that I have that in here so when I pack all this stuff back up, uh, it'll be there. So, But other than that, uh, besides, this is just the food section. Uh, besides that, uh, this is uh, this is what we have. So if you guys have any questions at all um, as to what... Um, as to what we have here or um, if suggestions or anything like that we're always open to hear some of that stuff so uh, let us know leave it leave a comment down below uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this we're gonna get uh, further into the kit as we go along here so if you don't want to miss out go ahead and subscribe also favorite uh, like and uh, and share the video if you'd like so that always helps helps the, the video out, helps the channel grow, and helps us get a little bit bigger so we can bring more videos like this to you. So, Anyway, guys, as always, thank you very, very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.